In a landscape where U.S. aviation strategy is increasingly shaped by stealthy F-35s and the upcoming sixth-generation fighter jet from the next-generation air dominance program, the Boeing F-15 Eagle, first introduced in the mid-1970s, might seem outdated. However, the recent delivery of the first F-15EX Eagle II to the U.S. Air Force highlights the aircraft's continued importance. This latest variant shows that the F-15 remains essential for maintaining U.S. Air Force superiority and operational flexibility in the face of rising threats from China, Russia, and Iran. So, in this video, we will take a closer look at the latest F-15 Eagle variant and its significance in U.S. military aviation, as well as in export markets. Let's dive right in. The Boeing F-15EX Eagle II is an all-weather multi-role strike fighter developed from the McDonnell Douglas F-15E Strike Eagle, originally designed for the Royal Saudi Air Force. In 2018, a U.S. assessment and program evaluation study concluded that, given the shortage of F-22 Raptors and delays with the F-35 Lightning II, it was essential to develop an updated version of the F-15. The first F-15EX intended for operational service was delivered to the Oregon Air National Guard on June 5, 2024. As the most advanced variant of the F-15 aircraft family, the F-15EX features affordability, speed, range, heavy weapon payload capacity, a digital backbone, and open architecture, making it well-positioned to become the backbone of U.S. homeland defense. Although the F-15EX and the previous variant, the F-15C, may look identical from the outside, they are completely different internally. One noticeable difference is that the F-15EX has two seats, whereas the F-15C is a single-seat fighter. The F-15EX Eagle II measures 19.45 meters in length, 13 meters in width, and 5.64 meters in height. It has an empty weight of 14,000 kilograms and a maximum takeoff weight of 37,000 kilograms. Capable of launching hypersonic weapons, it provides a significant advantage in future conflicts. While designed for two pilots, it can be operated by a single pilot and carries a payload of 13,300 kilograms. The F-15C and D models were equipped with 1970s computer systems when they were produced. But significant advancements in computer technology have been made since then, so the F-15EX reflects this. Featuring a new electronic warfare system, advanced cockpit, modern sensors, radars, and the latest mission systems, the F-15EX also has open mission architecture that supports the rapid integration of new technologies, ensuring long-term relevance. The aircraft also includes fly-by-wire controls and an advanced radar, enhancing range, multi-target tracking, and precision engagement. This radar helps detect, identify, and track multiple targets at longer ranges, making faster decision-making in conflicts. The F-15EX is powered by two General Electric F-110 engines, each generating a thrust of 29,000 pounds. This enables the aircraft to reach speeds of up to Mach 2.9, approximately 2,225 miles per hour, or 3,580 kilometers per hour, making it one of the world's fastest fighter jets. It has a range of 1,200 nautical miles, allowing it to strike deep targets. While the F-15EX may not be a fifth-generation stealth fighter like the F-22 and F-35, it is often considered a 4.5-generation aircraft due to these upgrades. As such, the F-15EX will primarily be used for homeland and airbase protection and enforcing no-fly zones in areas with limited enemy air defenses. Besides the upgraded specifications and capabilities, another argument for keeping and upgrading the F-15 is its cost-effectiveness. Priced at around $97 million per airframe, the F-15EX is by no means a cheap aircraft. But developing entirely new aircraft 
such as the upcoming sixth-generation fighters from the NGAD, entails significant research and development expenses, lengthy testing phases, and considerable financial investment. Latest figures put the upcoming NGAD aircraft at $300 million per piece. With that said, the F-15EX benefits from the existing F-15 production line and infrastructure, leading to much lower procurement costs, lower maintenance and operational costs. Its proven reliability, cost-effectiveness, relatively advanced capabilities, and strategic flexibility make it a strong candidate for continued funding. So, the F-15EX Eagle II, far from being a relic of the past, exemplifies the enduring value of innovation and adaptability in military aviation. What do you think? Let's discuss in the comments below. And if you found this video interesting, make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the latest defense news and analyses.